when you analyze biological samples, you have to realize the extreme complexity of this type of, type of samples. If you just take one drop of blood, you easily will find uh, up to eight, nine, ten thousand different small molecule metabolites which, which you can actually find back, back in one drop of, of blood. Plenty of proteins, plenty of phospholipids, salts. So a biological mixture like a, a droplet of blood is extremely complex. And so it's a whole challenge to actually analyze this and especially to analyze this in a quantitative way. Eh? So the quantitative way is particularly challenging and, and so much evolution, this has undergone plenty of evolution uh, in the last few decades. And the methodology that came uh, in, into, into being as being, uh, as being the most used is actually LCMSMS. Eh? So LCMSMS, where basically the compounds will be selectively detected based on the retention time, based on the mass of the molecular ion, and based on the mass of the specific fragments which are being formed. LCMSMS is also a very accurate technique, so essentially uh, you can have uh, the, the, the accuracy of the, of, the, of the results is extremely good, down to PPB level quantitations. That's why in pharmacokinetics uh, and all types of uh, uh, biological quantitation studies, this technology is by far the most suitable for this type of quantitative work. So what's the problem with that technology, what are the remaining problems with that particular technology? This is actually the fact that in some quantitative studies, and the lower we go in concentration levels, uh, that in some studies you can have issues with quantitation due to overlap with co eluting compounds which will lead to matrix effects which will lead to quantitation problems.